The island of Sodor is the home of the Northwestern Railway. With engines of all shapes and sizes. Working hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. There are branch lines that run along the coast of the island. Serving the docks, the fishing villages and the seaside towns. There are branch lines that run to the farms, quarries, and ancient castles of the island's heartland. And there is the main line, which runs all the way from Natford on the west coast of the island. To Vickers Town in the east. The line continues over the Vickers Town Bridge where it connects to the mainland beyond. Glynn and the Hill When Glynn left the railway museum, he was sent to Crovensgate to be restored. The work took a long time, but at the end of it, he was ready to settle to his new home at Ulsted Castle with Duke. Good morning, Glynn, greeted Sir Robert happily. How are you feeling today? Never better, your lordship. You yourself look jolly this morning. Indeed I am, replied Sir Robert. Now that you're back at Destine, I have plans for you beyond the walls of this estate. Beyond, sir. Tonight, we are going to conduct a trial run for you from the junction to here. We want to see how well you can run passenger trains for a special service to the castle. Special service? You mean on Thomas's branch line? Indeed. Sir Topham has arranged for an inspector to see how well you could do it tonight. This is all part of my elaborate plans for you. I'm so excited. But your grace... Yes? Oh, never mind. Very well. Remember, the inspector arrives here at 8pm sharp. Yes, sir. Hello, Glynn. Hello, replied Glynn unhappily. What's the matter? An inspector is arriving here tonight. For what? You're not going to the scrapyard again, are you? Of course not, replied Glynn crossly. The inspector is just taking me on a trial run along Thomas's branch line to see how well I can pull passengers. Oh, well you can't be that nervous. A young engine like you may not have heard about my accident from long ago. Oh, but I have. I heard it from Toby a few years ago. So you know about my accident? Ever since that day I've had a fear of healers and doubting if I could ever conquer them again, should I return to Steen. And we know that beyond Farquhar Station there are two hills to deal with. One near the quarry, and the other just at the castle. I can get up here well enough on my own. But with a trade it's different. I understand, replied Stanley sympathetically. I was scared of hills after my accident at Great Waterton. It stuck with me even when I became a shunter at Wellsworth. But I managed to get over my fear of hills after pulling a train. Although in hindsight, I should have told someone about it first to avoid any mishap. I... I guess I could talk to the Earl about it, replied Glynn. But I fear that he might be upset with me. I'm sure the Earl will understand, but whatever happens, I've got your back, replied Stanley, and he puffed away to run round his train for the return journey. Later that day, Glynn pulled into the station after touring the estate. While he was waiting on the platform, he saw the Earl standing by, looking around. Glynn tried to call out to him, but he just couldn't pluck up the courage. Come on, Glynn. There's nothing to worry about. 
but Glyn was just quiet as he puffed around the estate. Night time came, and Glyn was preparing for his trial run. Mavis arrived with the Earl and the Inspector. Good evening, everyone, called the Earl. Good evening, Your Grace, greeted Glyn and his driver. Standing alongside Sir Robert, they both noticed a tall, dignified-looking woman. Everyone, I would like you to meet Vanessa Summer. She will be conducting your run tonight. Thank you, Your Grace. Glyn, I hope we have a successful run. I hope so too, Inspector, replied Glyn. Mavis took him and his train as far as the junction. When they arrived, the trial began. At first, Glyn was travelling well through the countryside. Till. Right, first hill to conquer, he said to himself. As he puffed up the hill, he began to feel the strain holding him back. He tried to pull as hard as he could. But try as he might. Driver, please stop it the best you can! His driver pulled his regulator to the off position and screwed his brakes hard on. But Glyn was still coasting down the hill with his brakes screeching on the rails. His driver blew him a whistle to warn everybody. It's the end all over again! We have stopped, cried Glyn thankfully. You sure did. Stanley, you saved me. Well, I did say I've got your back, didn't I? <laughs> Is everyone all right? asked the Earl. We are, Your Grace. Everyone's in one place. The Earl and the Inspector then turned towards Glyn. What about you, Glyn? asked Vanessa. I'm all right, Inspector. But what happened? I'm really sorry, Your Grace. It's just... I have trouble with heels. You see, my brakes aren't strong. So the only way to stop is to turn off my regulator. But even so, the weight of the train can still push or drag me down. I wanted to tell you, but I was scared that you'd be upset with me and think I would spoil your big plan. Glyn, I'll admit I'm most disappointed that you hadn't heard me sooner. I would have cancelled the trial and looked for another solution. You are still a great engine to me, but next time, don't be afraid to tell me if something's wrong, okay? Since we don't know that Glyn is incapable of putting chains up here, will you call off the special service, Your Grace? No, nothing is off the table yet, Inspector. I do believe I have the right engine for this job. I doubt, however, that the tracks and bridges here are strong enough to hold the weight of him at present. I think if they are, sir, I'll conduct a meeting with Sir Topham Hat tomorrow. Glenn left his train at Farquhar Yard, and he and the Earl made their way home to the castle. But Glynn was curious. Who's this engine you're talking about, Your Grace? Oh, just someone that's been restored at Craven's Gate. I'll take it to meet him tomorrow, replied the Earl.
lit a ride on Henry's goods train. Your Grace, Glyn, we've been expecting you. He's right this way. Glyn, may I introduce to you to... Jeffrey! Oh, good day there. So you're Glyn, eh? I heard a lot about you from Sir Robert. Nice to see you there, mate. And nice to see you too, er, uh, mate. Jeffrey here will be taking express passenger duties for the big station to the castle as a tourist engine. It's like a mainline tour on the mainland, so you don't have to worry about hills anymore. You're not good with hills? gasped Jeffrey. Glenn felt embarrassed, but Jeffrey soon reassured him. No worries, mate. We all have advantages and disadvantages. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This made Glenn feel very happy. After getting to know Jeffrey, Glenn puffed to the castle, knowing quite well that the Earl's big plans are still going on.